Hi, this is Jim Brandt with Best Practical, and today what we'd like to talk about is a new integration option so that you can integrate uh, your RT system with uh, all sorts of other different types of systems. So traditionally, there's always been a lot of different ways to integrate with RT. You can do email, just send an email in, parse the values, and maybe set some custom fields uh, or set other fields on the ticket. Uh, command line scripts, uh, either running on the RT server, running on an external server, uh, there's all sorts of libraries, so you can integrate from code. Um, uh, RT has REST APIs, the traditional REST uh, version 1 API. Now we have REST 2, uh, which is the new one that's uh, available as an extension for RT4 or uh, built in in RT5. Uh, and then just scripts that can call external APIs. And then there's a variety of extensions published uh, that integrate with specific tools like maybe Nagios or, or something like that. Well, today we like to talk about is a new option which is uh, an integration with a platform called Zapier. Uh, so what is Zapier? Zapier is a web-based tool that uh, applications can integrate with and then they provide uh, a way for you to plug these different applications together making integrations uh, really easy. So uh, request tracker is now an option in Zapier. So when you go uh, look on the platform and do a search, uh, we're in there and you can uh, integrate to your RT and then to what other, uh, whatever other application you want to that's available in their system. Uh, so let's take a quick look at uh, what this would actually look like uh, setting this up. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on Zapier because they actually have a ton of documentation on their website when you set up. So you'll be able to go through all their docs. They also have a YouTube channel with just a ton of videos. So really almost anything that you can think of that you'd want to do, you can go check out uh, all these videos that they have that walk you through the process of, of setting things up. So I won't spend too much time on that, but I do want to do a quick one just to show you uh, what it looks like. So the important bit is uh, how, how do you connect Zapier to your RT? Uh, and the first things that you'll need, again, if you're on RT5, you're all set because the token support and REST2 are included in RT5. If you're still on RT4.4, uh, so we have an older version, you can still set things up, but you'll need a couple of extensions. So you'll need this extension, which is the token extension, gives you the token support. Uh, and then you'll need this extension, which uh, adds REST2 to your RT4.4, for example, uh, installation. So you'll need those two extensions. If you're on RT4, if you're on RT5, you're all set and you have uh, everything that you need. So uh, what does it look like? Let's actually create a Zap and see what the process looks like. So I'm logged in here to my Zapier account. I'm just gonna click make a Zap and it'll just put you right into the interface to start building this. So um, we'll give it a name. Uh, the example that we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna integrate with uh, another application that allows you to just create web forms uh, and then take the web form values. And what we wanna do is just create a ticket from that. So um, we'll just call this uh, create ticket from support form. And again, the thing that's going to trigger it is someone filling out that form. So I'm going to just search. It's called type form is the uh, application that we're going to use. Uh, and then I can pick an event. And what is that? It's going to be when the form is submitted, when someone actually submits the form. So I'm going to go in and choose an account. Now, I've already done the integration with uh, this type form account that I have. If you're setting this up for the first time, you will get prompted here to go through that initial integration step uh, to set that up. And it'll be whatever your application is. Each one might be a little bit different for what you want to do. Uh, it's going to have me pick the form. It went in and looked into my account and said, oh, I see there's two forms there. So let's just pick the support request form as the first one. And then we can go in, they say, hey, do you want to test your trigger? So we're just going to click test. And it's just going to confirm that it can actually talk to my account uh, on type form. So all good, uh, looks happy. So we're just going to click continue. And this is the part where uh, we want to pick something from the list to say, okay, we've got the thing that the, the trigger, right, which is someone filled out the form, what do you want to happen? And we want to create a ticket. And you can see request tracker is now in here as an option. I could also search uh, and find it, but it's right here on top of the list. So we'll pick that. And again, choose an event. And like I said, we're just going to create a ticket continue. Uh, and now we're going to choose an account. And again, if you're coming in here for the first time, uh, you're going to get prompted. And so the question is, what do you need to know about your RT system to get this set up? So uh, for the first time that you come through, you come over here, uh, I just want to look at uh, my connections. 
Um, so this is in my apps if you want to know how I got here. And if you do add connection, um, and then I pick, uh, request tracker, this is the screen that you'll see. Again, if you come in for the first time, it'll actually prompt you from the create zap where we were, uh, previously, um, it'll, it'll pop this up. And all you need to know is the URL of your RT. So it's just whatever, when you go to your homepage in RT, that's that URL. Uh, and then you need an auth token. Uh, so where do you get uh, an auth token? Again, if you have the token support installed, um, you do have to grant some uh, rights to let people uh, use tokens. And then what you're going to do is in your RT, I've got a test RT set up here. Uh, you can see you have a Zapier user. I can go into Zapier settings, auth tokens. And this is where you can go in. You say, I got, have some set up, but there's a create up here. This is where you would create that new token. You'll get a big, long string of uh, numbers. And that's what you would go in, uh, put in to uh, this form is in this box down here. And that's it. You just need the your, your URL for your RT and then the token. And then that will set up uh, the integration with your system. Now, uh, as we go through this integration, um, this user that you set the token up with, this user does need rights to do whatever it is that you're going to want Zapier to do. So in this case, we're creating a ticket. So this user will need rights to uh, create a ticket because that's the context that it's going to use. So that's the other bit to be aware of. Um, so let's go back over to where we're creating our thing. So again, I already have this set up, so I'm not going to get prompted, but that's what you would get. Um, uh, and it's kind of nice if you set up additional workflows, right? If this is one zap, if you go create more zaps, it saves all of that information. So you only really have to set the accounts up one time, which is kind of nice. So now we're going to set this action up. So now we're in the request tracker part and we're going to create a ticket. What do you need to create a ticket, right? Well, the basics are a subject, what queue, and then uh, what's going to go in the body of the, uh, the ticket when it gets created. Now, when I click on this, what it does is it gives me all of the values that were passed forward from the type form form. Right, which is really nice. I can just go in and pick from this list down here. So I've got um, a couple of different options here. I've got a uh, short description. So let's pick that as the value and it just kind of puts that in. And again, that's a variable. It'll, it'll um, use uh, whatever we actually put in when the person fills out the form. Uh, the queue, you can change this. I'm just going to leave it as the general queue for now. And then for the text, what do I want? There's another option in this form that's uh, more information. So here we go, more details. I'm going to pick that, and that will then go into the body of the ticket. And that's all we need. So I can continue from there. Um, I could do a test right here, and it will actually try to make sure that it can connect. Uh, I'm going to skip the test uh, on this, and then we're just going to try it. We'll see if it works. Now, it gives me the option I have to actually turn uh, the zap on. So wait for just a second. And there we go. Your zap is on. So we've created it, and we have uh, turned it on. Now we're going to go over here. And uh, this is my form. So this is the form that I created over in type form, and it just allows someone to, to put in some information. Uh, so I can say, I need some help. Uh, and then there's a longer uh, description. Uh, so I can just say my laptop is having issues and submit. OK, so now what we were, uh, would expect is that's going to go into Zapier and we should have a ticket created out uh, in RT on the other end. So let's go in. Um, we'll refresh. And there it is. Uh, seven seconds ago. Need some help. There's the ticket that got created. Uh, I can click in there and then there's the body. My laptop is having issues. So uh, pretty easy to set that up. Um, and again, uh, Zapier has lots of documentation uh, that you can go through. Uh, last question might be, well, um, you know, how many apps or what are these apps uh, that, that I can go in and use? Uh, if you go into uh, Zapier, if you go into this Explore, you can see they have 3,000 3, plus apps. That is a lot of different applications. Uh, and what do they mean by apps? Let's just look at the most popular. They're all things that probably you uh, definitely have heard of uh, and probably things that you use uh, in your day-to-day uh, -day business. So um, if, if there's some uh, system that you use and you can see all the different categories over here um, that uh, you do other things in your day-to-day -day business, uh, it's probably in here. Um, and again, you can kind of plug these uh, together. Um, the first uh, certain number of zaps uh, of, of executions of that are free. So you can try this out uh, for free. 
Uh, and then if you get to like a certain volume, then there's uh, pricing after that uh, as part of the, the Zapier plan. So uh, new integration option, uh, really nice uh, and easy to, to set things up. Uh, so we hope you'll check it out and uh, add some automation to make uh, uh, work with your RT a little bit easier. Thanks.